What's good, fam? Um, I'm back with a new video, finally. Uh, ran into some additional problems, like the ones I told you about uh, a couple of weeks ago. Um, when I wanted to do the video and upload and everything, my laptop got stolen, so I needed my insurance money and stuff before I could buy a new one, uh, but finally did. So I'm back at full throttle now and ready to do videos for you guys, ready to uh, help you out with any questions. Um, as I mentioned last week, a couple of weeks ago, I made a Discord that you can join and ask me any questions. Also, I will be start to using I will start using my Instagram page as well uh, with the links and stuff. And you will mainly find links on the Discord as well uh, if you need anything like links for buying stuff from my videos and mm. stuff like that. Um, but yeah, what I wanted to do this week is um, a review on these guys. I don't know if the focus is good. There we go. Because um, I got these to do a like fake educational video some time ago to tell you about what are some key points to look out for when you're buying a pair of uh, human race NMDs. Um, and I got these, but never got to do the video because of all the shit that happened. But um, I'm ready to do it now. As you can see, I've been wearing these a bit um, to like test the quality and stuff, which, by the way, is is awesome. Um, but yeah, let's just dig into it. We got a left foot and a right foot here. Um, first thing that I want to talk about, because that's the main giveaway unless you buy a really high-end pair, is the overall shape of the shoe. Um, the toe box will be way too round and just look boxy and stuff, not looking good at all. Um, and as well as the heel, uh, on the really cheap pairs, um, the heel curvature will align with the boost, um, so there will be no like edge here. Um, on more expensive pairs, this has been fixed. But then again, some of them goes like this, um, like really badly. On the retail pairs, there can be a bit of curvature here, but not like this. And on some other pairs, they are like this, which is wrong as well. Um, but other than that, the, the overall shape of the shoe will be quite good most of the times. Um, if the boost is a bit too hard and stuff, there won't be no curvature either, it will just be like this. But as you can see here, the boost is, is quite flexible, um, so it will have a bit of curvature. And uh, I think that pretty much covers the, uh, the shape of the shoe. Um, the next thing you can look out for is the text here. Um, the text if it's a fake, I know these are the black ones, so it's a bit hard to see. I actually have the yellow ones as well, but I'm not going to get those now. Um, the text will be a bit too close to the uh, toe box here. Um, there should be about twice as much base as there is on this pair. Um, oh, and by the way, just for the record, this pair is... I'd say this pair is a pretty high end. These are some of the best fakes you can get on the market right now. Um, I said in a previous video who helps me out doing these so I can educate you guys. Um, but I will leave links and everything on my Discord for who helped me out with everything because they need their... Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't mind mentioning mentioning their name uh, on the Discord uh, because they do a huge, to help, a huge job to help me out doing my content and stuff, which is very kind of them. Um, but as you see, the top box text here, the human should be, I don't know, a finger and a half, if you can say it like that, uh, away from the uh, away from the edge, and the human here is quite close. So that's one of the things you can look out for. And then generally, some of the letters are a bit too um, a bit too tiny. Um, they have to be more bold on the retail pairs, so that's, that's another thing on the text to look out for. On the really cheap pairs, the text is just overall shit and you should be able to tell um, without having to studying the, study them too much. Um, 
And the next thing I would look out for is the boost. Um, again, this boost feels good. It's it's soft and everything, uh, and, and it's lo it looks good. It might be just a bit too flat uh, compared to the retail boost, um, but it is a bit hard to tell. And I know most new NMDs uh, comes with the fish scale and a boost, so you can't really compare them to any new pairs. I'm not too sure about the new human races if they have the fish scale boost. Um, I'm just gonna have to look into that. Uh, but anyways, another thing you can look out for on the boost is the classic four nibble problem. Um, a lot of uh, and fake NMDs comes with four nibbles. It it only has to have three nibbles, and that's it for every NMD on the market. There's no NMDs with. Um, with uh, four nibbles uh, on the boost, as far as I know. Um, the uh, next thing, again, this only applies to the most cheap NMDs, but uh, it's the laces. Um, some cheap NMDs does not have the like sprinkles on the laces, and that's a thing you can look out for too. And what else can we have a look at? Some uh, some cheap NMDs, and again, this is only for the cheap NMDs. Let's just see if we can get the focus here. There we go, I think. The print on the back here, some cheap pairs uh, can't get this right. Um, on this pair, this is pretty much accurate, just as it has to be, uh, with the kind of scratching thing in here on the yellow uh, marks. Um, and then the colors on the, the Adidas logo on the back is um, is wrong on some pairs as well this one is pretty accurate too so and lastly I'd say the insole some pairs mine is pretty dark right now um, I don't think I can get it really here but there's some artwork in here um, on some cheap pairs the sole is just the insole is just black which is a dead giveaway too. Um, I know a guy like name brand. He said that the insole should, um, that you can take that one out on the retail pass. That's not right. You are not able to uh, remove the insole on NMDs because there is no insole at all. So that's why you can't remove it. Um, but I think that pretty much covers it. I know on some again. This only applies to the very cheap pass. But the number out here on the toe is uh, either missing or is just some random bullshit on the really cheap pairs. Um, but I wouldn't worry, worry too much about that because you, you should be able to tell before if you get your hands on a fake pair. Um, and if you want to legit check it, that you should be able to tell before you get to that part even. so. That's why it's 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 not too important. Like I said, the very cheap pairs have some quite big flaws on the text and stuff. Um, often come with uh, wrong colors and shit. So you you won't be in doubt um, if you get a a cheap fake pair. But on the higher end fake pairs, it it is quite harder to tell. Um, I didn't bring my box um, just for the main reason that. The box itself uh, is quite accurate. I know there's some stuff about the uh, the UPC number, I think, which is wrong. Um, on the really cheap pass, you you just get a you just get a, a different box from what the real pass comes with, so you should be able to tell as well. Um, but I think that pretty much sums it up. Some of the key points too selling a real from a fake again this this pair is what I consider a high-end fake um, this is probably pretty much as close as you get um, I think they come f I don't remember who made them but um, I know they put a lot of work into this so the factories really do make some some excellent fakes so yeah, be careful when you want to buy a new pair. If you get your hands on a fake, I'm not the one to tell you not to. Um, I get why you want to save money and stuff. And uh, 
I really don't give a fuck if you wear fake surreal. Um, I know a lot of people like sit there and ask why the fuck you even want to spend your money on it. Um, I like the look of it. That's that's why I got some. Um, I got a lot of real shoes as well. I really don't care if it's real or fake. Um, as you've seen in some of my previous videos, I have real stuff to compare. Um, but yeah, it's a personal choice. I really don't give a shit. I might do a video on talking about this, like going in depth with it if you want to. But uh, I see that the video is over 10 minutes long now, so I'm going to round this up. Let me know what you want me to talk about. There's a shit ton of stuff that I can do. Um, I still have some stuff that I want to show you guys. And uh, I'll keep in touch with you. I think I'm going to upload about once or twice a week from now. Um, and just keep you guys posted. Hit me up in the Discord. Hit me up in the comments if you have any questions. Uh, go follow the Instagram. I'm going to post stuff there from now on. And uh, you guys have a good day. Bye.